Hi, this is Namrata Heda and in this presentation we will discuss about angiosperms. As we have seen in earlier presentations, there are four major groups of plants as bryophytes, seedless vascular plants, gymnosperms and angiosperms. So in this presentation we will cover the angiosperms which include flowering plants. So the division angiospermy is sometimes also called division anthophyta as the word anthe means flower and phyto means plant. So it is called anthophyta because the common name for this group is the flowering plants. The angiosperms are so named because the seeds are enclosed within a fruit of some sort. There are certain characteristics of angiosperms like it has flowers. The flowers are the reproductive organs of the flowering plants and they are the most remarkable feature distinguishing them from other seed plants. Next, stamen. Stamen with two pairs of pollen sacs. Stamens are much lighter than the corresponding organs of gymnosperms. Stamens have also become modified through time to prevent self-fertilization. Next characteristic reduced male parts that is three cells. The male gametophyte in angiosperms is significantly reduced in size compared to those of gymnosperm seed plants. The smaller pollen decreases the time from pollination to fertilization. In gymnosperms fertilization can occur up to a year after pollination whereas in angiosperms fertilization begins very soon after pollination. The shorter time leads to angiosperm plants seeding seeds sooner and faster than gymnosperms which is a distinct evolutionary advantage. Another characteristic is closed carpal enclosing the ovules. This helps to prevent self fertilization thereby maintaining increased diversity. Once the ovary is fertilized the carpal and some surrounding tissues develop into a fruit. This fruit often serves as an attractant to seed dispersing animals. Next characteristic is reduced female gametophyte which is 7 cells with 8 nuclei. The reduced female gametophyte like the reduced male gametophyte may be an adaptation allowing for more rapid seed set eventually leading to such flowering plant adaptations as annual herbaceous life cycles allowing the flowering plants to fill even more niches. And the last characteristic being the endosperm. In general, endosperm formation begins after fertilization and before the first division of the zygote. Endosperm is a highly nutritive tissue that can provide food for the developing embryo, the cotyledons and sometimes the seedling when it first appears. So the division angiospermae contains two main classes as monocotyledons and dicotyledons. Monocotyledons include orchids, lilies and the dicotyledon includes trees and shrubs. Let's quickly have a look at the differences between the two classes. First considering the seeds. Monocots one nutrient storage area that is one cotyledon and dicots two sto nutrient storage areas that is dicotyledon, two cotyledons. The leaves in monocots it has parallel veins and dicots it is neck or branching veins. The flower parts are in three in monocots, the flower parts are in two, four or five in dicots. The monocots have many fibrous roots, the dicots have one main tap root which may have smaller roots branching off. And in monocots, the bundles in the vascular tissue are scattered throughout the stem. However, in dicots, the bundles are arranged in a ring. Now coming to different parts of the angiosperms. First, the roots. Roots are generally underground and serve to absorb water and nutrients. The stems, which come in various types such as stolon, which is an above ground runner, rhizome, which is an underground runner, bulb, 
that is a fleshy stem modified for nutrient storage. The leaves can be from many shapes from round to a heart shape to oblong. The leaf can be simple that is entire all in one piece as can be seen in this diagram or it can be compound that is divided into multiple leaflets. Compound leaves with their leaflets arranged like a feather are pinnately compound and leaves with their leaflets arranged like a person's finger are said to be palmately compound. The leaves can be in the opposite arrangement which arise from branch stems in pairs as shown in the figure or it can be alternate with each other going up the stem. The leaves can also be whirled where more than two leaves arise from the same place on the stem. So coming uh, flowers, flowers are the reproductive structures of an angiosperm and it consists of four whorls of modified leaves. So we will discuss the four whorls from outside in. So first sepals, sepals are often small and green but are colored like the petals in tulips and lilies and which generally enclose the flower before it opens. Next petals, petals are collectively called corolla. They are often brightly colored to attract pollinators like insects, birds etc and may be very from very simple to highly modified. Next stamens, stamen is the male reproductive organ which consists of a stalk that is the filament and a tip that is the anther where the microspores are produced and turn into pollen. Next pistil or carpel which consists of ovary, the bottom end where seeds are produced, the style which is the stalk portion and the stigma which is the outer sticky tip where pollen sticks when it land, when it lands or is placed there. Now a botanist group species of plants based on a number of characteristics. The botanists play, pay particular attention to how the flowers are put together. Like a complete flower has all four layers of parts. An incomplete flower lacks one or more layers. A perfect flower has both sexes, both stamens and pistils. A monoecious plant has perfect flowers or has both male and female flowers on the same plant. For example, Easter lily, pea, dandelion and rose. An imperfect flower is lacking either the pistil or stamens. A dioecious plant has imperfect flowers on separate male and female plants. For example, hops, box elder, persimmon, just note that the plant such as ginkgo which is a gymnosperm which doesn't produce flowers but which has separate male and female reproductive structures on separate male and female plants are also referred to as being dioecious. An irregular flower has bilateral symmetry and is also known as zygomorphic flower. A regular flower is radially symmetrical. So these were the different kinds of flower. Now multiple flower can be arranged or clustered in various ways as can be seen in the diagram. There can be the racemi arrangement, there can be panicle arrangement or corimb arrangement. The spike, umbel, head, compound umbel, syme or spadix arrangement. So the flowers can be arranged in different kinds. Coming to next characteristic that is the fruit. Fruit is a ripened or a mature ovary and it serves as a protection and means of dispersal for the seeds. Various types of fruit include 
सिंपल फ्रूट्स विच अराइज फ्रॉम वन ओवरी इन वन फ्लावर एग्जाम्पल्स इंक्लूड क्यूकम्बर पीपॉट वॉलनट टोमैटो ऑरेंज चेरी एप्पल डैंडलियॉन एंड मेपल हेलीकॉप्टर देर आर अ नंबर ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ सिंपल फ्रूट ईच विथ इट्स ओन ऑफिशियल नेम एग्रीगेट फ्रूट्स एग्रीगेट फ्रूट्स अराइज फ्रॉम सेवरल ओवरीज इन वन फ्लावर एग्जाम्पल्स इंक्लूड रसबेरी एंड स्ट्रॉबेरी द मल्टीपल फ्रूट्स अराइज फ्रॉम ओवरीज इन सेवरल टाइटली क्लस्टर्ड फ्लावर्स विच ग्रो टूगेदर इन टू वन फ्रूट एग्जाम्पल्स इंक्लूड पाइन एप्पल मलबेरी एंड ब्रेड फ्रूट कमिंग टू द लाइफ साइकल ऑफ एंजियोस्पॉम्स एंजियोस्पॉम्स हैव ऑल्टरनेशन ऑफ जनरेशन विद द टू एंड स्पोरोफाइट बींग द डोमिनेंट जनरेशन सो द एंथर्स विच आर इक्वलेंट ऑफ माइक्रोस्पोरेंजिया प्रोड्यूस माइक्रोस्पोज बाई मियोसिस एंड द माइक्रोस्पोज डेवलप इन टू द मेल कमिटोफाइट दैट इज पोलन द ओवरीज विच आर इक्वलेंट ऑफ मेगास्पोरेंजिया प्रोड्यूस मेगास्पोज विच ग्रो इन टू फीमेल गमीटोफाइट्स ईच ऑफ विच देन प्रोड्यूसेज एन एग नोट दैट द टेक्निकली द सेक्स ऑर्गन्स ऑफ अ प्लांट आर एंड बिकॉज दे प्रोड्यूस स्पोर्स विच टर्न इन टू मेल और फीमेल गमीटोफाइट द गमीटोफाइट्स बेयर द ट्रू सेक्स ऑर्गन्स सच एज दे आर एंड आर वेयर एग्स एंड स्पर्म्स आर एक्चुअली प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय सम मीन्स से बाय वेंड or by animal pollinator the pollen is transferred to the stigma of the pistil and a pollen tube grows down into the ovary as can be seen in the diagram eventually two sperm nuclei travel down the pollen tube the pollination is the transfer of pollen that is the male gametophyte to the stigma of the female whereas the fertilization is when the sperm nucleus and the egg nucleus unite so angiosperms have an unusual thing called the double fertilization when the sperm nuclei reach the female gametophyte one sperm nucleus and the egg cell unite to form a new two and zygote which grows into an embryo the other sperm nucleus and two nuclei form the female gametophyte join to form three and endosperm which often serves as food for the embryo so this is the life cycle of a typical angiosperm now uh, we'll just uh, briefly know about the embryo sporophyte so the embryo sporophyte it consists of one or two nutrient storage areas which are called cotyledons which are in contact with and absorb nutrients from the 3n endosperm seeds of some species store their nutrients primarily in the endosperm having very small cotyledons while others have most of their nutrients stored in their cotyledons and the endosperm is very small the epicotyl which is the region above the cotyledons and which will become the stem and the leaves the hypocotyl is the region which is under the cotyledons the lower end of the hypocotyl which becomes the root system is called the radicle and will become the roots in general monocots tend to store food in their endosperms and nutrients are transferred to the cotyledon only as needed in contrast many dicots not all dicots tend to store food in their cotyledons with the endosperm being reduced to a papery coating around the embryo so here we complete the topic angiosperms here are the references for the entire major group of plants thank you